So any good assistant will have some understanding of right. the boss she works for. And Amy works for me. Amy is not a real person. And she's not a real person. <laughs> So we are in this era where machines are making more and more decisions. Even in a place like a restaurant, the Bryant Park Grill, data drives what happens here too, whether it's menu planning, produce buying. What's the future for that? Artificial intelligence is now coming into play to bring together data, analytics, the human decision process. They are all coming together under the umbrella of AI, and we are now transforming the way KPMG is doing our business. There's a factor of trust and quality in the, the application of AI, right? And, and I, I would say that that goes directly back to the trust and the quality in the data under the AI. So we're a tiny company, right? So we're a 150-man band, but we've got 100 people doing nothing. But data but, clean. But data clean. Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out, right? Yes. I mean, if, you, if we don't clean the data, uh, we are going to end up creating machines that learn the noise rather than the signal. How do we take the mistrust out of the loop by building the confidence chain? So taking it out of the loop, by putting humans in, the, into loop, the loop, in the loop. you yes. build the confidence yes. in the, in the machines. Yes. There is no such thing as, I'm gonna plug this in and bam, you've got great AI and automation. We're not at an autonomous self-learning appliance yet. What we do at Extra AI, we run a network. So that means that when we service one person, we can do kind of okay. If we service 100,000 people, then all of a sudden we have this superhuman assistant that can learn from 100,000 people. Yeah. The whole principle is pairing intelligent automation, machine learning, robotics, with people to handle the exceptions that machines can't do, and then making the machine smarter incrementally by taking in the information from a human interaction. Yeah. The more we interact with these devices, the smarter they will get and the better they will get over time. I don't think we've even begun to touch where it could go. So if you're able to generate good quality data at scale, and you can automate the process of applying that data to an AI system, suddenly, if you're a giant bank, anti-money laundering is solved. Yeah. Right. Know your customers, solved. At KPMG, we are seeing the flooding of data. It is fantastic. I mean, this is the time to look at uh, uh, what AI can do and how it can bring greener pastures on the other side. <laughs> the most beneficial use cases for AI are in the back office and the middle office and machine to machine. There's financial benefits, there's creativity benefits, there's strategic benefits, there's so much there.